Some people, some of your opponents, are playing very stupid openings. For example, you might recognize that one. After the first move d4, she can play the move e5. You're going to take that pawn, and above me you can see actually the evaluation of the computer, right? And I hope you, you know how to read this one. And after this you can protect your pawn, now he's going to play something like that, he's hoping to take this pawn back. You can play two moves actually, this one or bishop to f4, both of them are okay, and now he's going to give that check. And I hope you know this gambit, this gambit called Englund Gambit. Believe it or not, people with 2300 rating actually on lead chess playing this gambit. They should be idiots, morons or something in between. But they should not be normal people because as you can see on my computer, this is completely losing. And they would like only to trick you. Now let's see what you can play. You can play this one and after that you can develop your knight. This is the main line. Usually here they have two moves. They have this one or they have that one. After this, he's threatening that pawn. So you need to play that move in order to protect and then you can kick away the queen. So white is completely winning here. Or they can play something like this. And now you can play rook to b1, attacking the queen. And now the normal Englund gambit move is queen to a3 and you can play knight b5 or things like this, knight d5 or things like that, here or uh, there and then the game will continue but they would like to trick you even more and here they are playing this move queen takes a3 <laughs> right this completely stupid move but believe me that some people are doing this one and after this he can take there you need to put your knight there and after this you have to develop actually now they can play something like this and you should remember not to blunder this knight e4 idea actually this one of the traps so you need to play bishop to d3 and as you can see the computer white is completely completely winning so we're going to see a lot of um, openings on how to play and how to win actually these stupid opening moves This is Angelo and here we're going to see some very interesting openings. We're going to talk about E4, E5 openings first of all because I was thinking to create a course actually about that and here you can see my files. I used to have all of these E4, E5 openings in the same folder actually, all of these folders and I separate them because they are too many, too many, and my computer breaks some, um, sometimes with so many folders. And for example, we are going to examine this one, the first of all, I collect all of the openings from the less popular moves to more popular moves. So we have some sublines first of all, after that the Petrov, the Russian defense, the Scots, Italian and the Spanish, the most popular opening. And here inside the first folder actually, 45 line, you can see here I have a lot, a lot of different um, systems. They are approximately 90 uh, different systems. The small, small files. I'm going to show you some of them. Actually, not all of them today. You're going to see some of them. And E45 has approximately 600 files like this one. And I can create a video about 10 or 15 minutes for each of them. So it's extremely big work. Work. And I say, okay, I'd like to create a course, but it's impossible to create only one course. And for that reason, I'm going to give you some of these openings to you. First of all, because before start uh, see the first files uh, actually today, we're going to see this one, this gambit. Uh, today, let's talk about the opening. What is the opening? The opening is when you are trying to develop your pieces. This is very important. And how to develop it? You can develop first of all your pawn here. And after that, I'm going to play stupid moves with the black pieces in order to understand the idea. And after this, you can play the knight out. You can develop your bishop. And after that, you can castling. So you have a very safe position. I'm going to show you the best 10 moves and we're going to continue playing uh, stupid things with the black pieces you can develop the other knight you 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 should try to play this pawn on d4 but usually your opponent is not going to allow you have these two pawns in the center of the board he's going to play something for example e5 knight there try to block some of the of one of these uh, two squares but if you can do it you should do it and after that you can develop the bishop you can develop your queen and connect the rooks in the center of the board so the opening stage is opening and if you know why if, if you would like actually to know how to play openings uh, better or if you would like to learn more about these openings then i have a cool solution for you
Chess openings are extremely important and especially if you play blitz games. Do you struggle with them? No more! We have a specific and very simple solution for you. Asaf Givon and Angelo Kesseris created the Chess Scores the best 10 aggressive and blitz friendly openings. Follow the link below and grab your gift today. And now we are back after this uh, small break, let's say, small solution for you. You can follow the link below the video to learn more. And here we have the Halas Gambit, if I announce it correctly. After this first move, E4, E5, I'm going to flip the board actually to see the black pieces. We can play E5. This is a very nice uh, move actually to play E5, but you need to know a lot of theory uh, behind it. It's, uh, it is one of... Uh, the most solid and the most reliable systems actually e4 e5 people are using are used to play this one for more than 500 years so a lot a lot of things um, um, explained there they played a lot of different systems so we have a lot of theory the idea is to stop actually white with the first move he would like to develop two of his uh, pieces actually and you would like to do the same you would like to develop your pieces like this and perform a checkmate or something like this and uh, above that you need to stop or try to exchange one of his central pawns you are going to give a fight against this d4 square and after this um, one of the options one of the options that white has is this move d4 so here we can take that pawn actually we cannot stay passive and uh, protect this pawn like this one because he has a lot a lot of options he can transpose to other openings like uh, uh, knight f3 here he can play the philidor defense or he can push the pawn or he can capture here to destroy our key, um, castling rights so it, we cannot really protect that pawn right now so we have to take this one and now this is one of the most um, it's a good system actually bishop to f4 we're going to see this uh, later and here we have some transpositions after this one and here uh, black can play something like that and now we have uh, transposition to the scots opening actually another transposition could be uh, after this one so we have um, the scots gambit here or we're going to see them later later in the later stages or here again we have a transposition to Scots Gambit as well. This is one transposition. But another idea here is to play this move f4. It's not the King Gambit actually because in the King's Gambit Black managed to capture that pawn on f4 and White has this D pawn. It's something different. And one player here, one player Fred Halle, Halle if I announce him correctly, his rating is approximately 1500. He played this system uh, in uh, many many occasions actually and uh, he is the father of this uh, gambit it's dubious as you can see on my stockfish here my stockfish said uh, what are you doing why you're playing like this with uh, the white pieces but as we are going to see things are not so so easy and with the black pieces you should know what to do the most popular move here is to develop the knight but sooner or, or later we're going to transpose we can play this one transpose to uh, the main lines as you are going to are, are going to see or you have to play d5 move and after this this is a transposition and here the best move after that you need to play d5 sooner or later and you should know in these systems e4 e5 you need to play the move d5 in order to liberate your position and here as you can see we can develop our bishops very easily and we're striking in the center one of the drawbacks here in um, the way that white played actually is that this knight is behind he cannot really develop the knight on c3 this is a real problem he has first of all to capture that pawn on d4 and after that to develop the knight but he don't have so much time and for that reason we have time to strike in the center attacking the pawn on e4 and now he has two options one of them is to push uh, the pawn forward and another variation is to capture with uh, the queen here we have three options and uh, the best one is to develop the knight the less popular move is this one c6 because uh, black is trying to protect something uh, solidly here try to protect uh, his center and after that he can play the knight there and after e5 he has to go back for example 
it's not for beginners actually these uh, lessons it's, are not for completely beginners I hope you played uh, for chess for two three years actually so we are moving little fast let's say like this and if you would like to understand something you're very welcome to see the video again and again sometimes I think some of the moves are, are very normal where the knight should go it cannot go backward obviously cannot go here so he has to go there and after this he we have some exchanges um, this is one of the lines but after queen g3 as you can see here it's another interesting option i have some games i'm collecting some games from strong players and i'm trying to improve a little bit their play because we have computers we have a lot of time actually to analyze um, this position and i'm trying to improve a little bit this queen g3 it's quite uh, okay right because now you see he's attacking that pawn on g7 if you just castling what these pawns are doing here he has very nice center control he can develop the knight there for example and maybe the bishop here and he start attacking our king side for that reason the things can go wrong with the black pieces i don't suggest this uh, opening actually for white but if you like you can try it right and uh, after this he has some initiative so here during that game he played this bishop to e3 and now after that we have some exchanges b3 is not good move actually uh, here he could play something rook b1 maybe was little better little better because uh, you're not creating weaknesses it's not good to defend passively the pawns but uh, temporarily we're protecting this one and white would like to develop his pieces uh, uh, in a very fast forward way and maybe later start pushing his pawns forward if uh, black do anything about this but during the game he played that one we have this move some developing uh, uh, moves actually and after this castling uh, short castling here white have a small small initiative and uh, with white pieces we have uh, uh, simanov simanov against uh, nether it was on chesscom played this opening and uh, if someone has 2700 he is not a beginner actually and he chose that system maybe to trick his opponent and later if i'm not mistaken yeah why won that game and i have a gift here for you you can take all of these files because some of them are extremely detailed we are in the middle of the uh, in the lesson now i'm going to show you uh, some more lines actually and if you like to to take all of them you can take them on my website here is uh, um, the page on my website and here on the menu you can go to profile you you can um, register for free actually and after that a new menu uh, item will appear here the profile and if you if you can click this one you can see this page here you can see your lessons we have some free lessons and some paid lessons there and if you are scrolling down you can see here we have three main um, categories e4 the openings with e4 the openings with d4 and wing openings for example catalan if white start with the move knight uh, to f3 or if you just start with uh, c4 the english attack the english uh, system and things like this here we are on um, e5 old lines let's say like this because they are very very old lines or people strong people are not playing this one and if you click there then you can go inside the lessons i'm going to modify this uh, more actually with uh, the more lessons here we have an article if you click here you can go on um, on the menu it says here it is uh, the block of the website i have uh, some details about these openings i have some links to other popular openings as well some of them has already videos you can uh, click this one and after that you can click here again uh, videos and pgn files this is free videos from youtube actually i'm going to add them here and on youtube videos i'm going to change this one obviously and in the in um, at the bottom of this page you can find uh, the pgn files i'm going to upload this pgn um, file so you will have everything everything here and you you are welcome to un to check the pgn files on your own computer if you like now let's go back here and uh, we just saw this move we saw this c6 move it's one of them the best move here is knight f6 actually it's not the most popular move only five people uh, played this one and um, here we we would we will try to protect the pawn actually keep this uh, square active for our knight and threaten that pawn as well so he has some problems here he can take for example 
after e5 I didn't add it this one after e5 move yeah we can try this one we have some options knight e4 say the computer I thought about this one but knight e4 is okay as well and as you can see here the knight is active we are threatening something li like this check he cannot block uh, with that pawn because we can take it this one idea another idea is to put um, uh, the pawn there or the bishop there Th these are some um, ideas and in previous line on c6 line we didn't have the opportunity to go in the center of the board and as you can see the computer uh, the computer says that uh, black is better here it's better we have um, everything in the position to win that game but during that game white just captured there we have some exchanges and now knight f3 wasn't the best but we cannot really suggest any real moves here for example after queen to uh, to e3 or something like this for example here we can block uh, there we can castling we can continue our development but during the game he played that move and now white didn't play the best move he played this one it's very natural to play that move but i have um i have a rule for you and the rule says keep it simple stupid Zwiedler, peter, peter Zwiedler say this uh, to himself actually and it's very important to remember white here has the material is equal right but is uh, we have a problem on white's position after this for example white has a problem and this problem this is the open center because in the center files we don't have any pawns actually there it's an open center and what this pawn is doing here on a four it's completely mistake it's a positional error to have this pawn there because white cannot develop the bishop there as you can see maybe black can attack that pawn later we have some permanent squares on e4 for example we can build that one later with the bishop here uh, we can kick first of all the knight we can put the bishop there castling putting a rook here we have a very important square on e4 for example it's one move and i created lessons against the sicilian defense and with uh, white pieces i suggest you the grand prix attack one of the key ideas on grand prix attack is to have these two pawns on e4 and f4 if black manages to break these pawns then white will have problems and you're very welcome to study this course later but um, here as you can see he has a problem there the position is better for black actually here we are not completely winning as computer said here but we have the initiative we can attack the knight he can go something like this all all of the times we need to ask what he's threatening obviously he had other moves like knight b3 but okay after this here and black is uh, clearly clearly better here clearly better keep it simple stupid so we can exchange the queens because he has this positional it's a positional error in this uh, in his position this pawn but during the game he continued like this very normal move actually attacking the queen forcing or helping him to go back and now we have uh, uh, bishop e6 it's very ni nice because we are preparing to castle as soon as possible he cannot put his pawn there because we can take this one and we have a better position right but he played uh, this move and we have that one now he's forcing us to take the queen he pinned the knight they continue playing uh, the game actually knight d5 try to attack the bishop and the knight and after this we have some exchanges so white has to go back is black's position better definitely it's better as you can see the computer is definitely better and it's very um playable move for uh uh, black pieces it's very nice to play very, very nice to play with the black pieces here because we don't have any weaknesses however things are not so easy and now you can see computer is changing a little bit his evaluation it's approximately equal it says because white has um, um, some weaknesses but we don't have a clear way on how to attack these weaknesses how are we going to attack this pawns actually he has an open line and now he has a very strong square here on d4 for his knight for example and after a long castling short castling he played that move and uh, he needs to develop actually black uh, he played uh, a poor move can say something like this and now he played that one and white start attacking uh, somehow the computer said that the position is approximately equal but again he is threatening a little bit our pawn now black player played that one and i'm going to announce the players they are not beginners they are not beginners the players and after this f6 very very cool move he's trying to open up all of his pieces actually uh, here he would like to destroy the king's side and uh, white is dreaming to attack white so after that move he is threatening that pawn 
we have this one because uh, black white is threatening h7 pawn and he is happy to exchange this pawn this pawn a2 uh, with h7 white uh, black played that one we have intermediate move attacking the rook and after this he just played back attacking the bishop we have this check and after this he played knight here on g3 bishop there i'm not sure why he played that move but in any case we have this and after that you can understand that something is wrong with uh, black's position so he's trying to put his pieces backward and after that he captured there he went back we have a check here and white is better the game is start a cover grunfeld very very strong players of the past the game played in vienna 1923 and white won that game so this system it's not so innocent right it's not so innocent and sometimes when you know actually the theory you are better on the theory you need to play good moves actually you need to play good moves and here i told you what you should play you need here actually to take the queen make it simple because you need to recognize this weakness because as the game went actually after all of these exchanges now it looked like better for for black but actually maybe it's not so clean not so clean we had this move this is the best move by the way and another move is to capture instantly here uh, black is happy to uh, to destroy his um, uh, king his castling rights because if he just capture here for example it's a mistake uh, i'm going to add it on uh, notes if he just play that one we can recapture with the king then we can play something like c6 king here the king is saving this diagonal we can play that pawn maybe here the knight there we have an extra pawn and uh, things are very very good for for black pieces so uh, after that he has to take there we have this one we have development now um, black is not exchanging queens but i think it's okay to exchange queens queen takes the three as you can see on computer is uh, the best uh, uh, move actually but they play they played uh, this uh, this um, line and now c6 is another move that i like it's like caro can move actually because we're controlling some squares here and we would like to create this very strong outpost on d5 for our pieces and he played that one maybe this is another positional mistake because uh, yeah computer agreed but computer cannot say to you why why this uh, move is wrong actually and if you don't have good experience you cannot understand it this move is a positional mistake because after pawn c6 knight cannot go forward and he is threatening to kick our pieces um, backwards so you should not play the knight there and after this he played that one giving a check here black is uh, better and black managed to win that game 1900 yellow player played with the white pieces and another one 2200 with the black pieces so we have this variation queen here and um, yeah we just analyzed queen takes d4 another line is e5 i think um, it's not the best obvious again this one because we just sacrifice a pawn with uh, something extremely unclear is this um, bad line it's yeah it is bad line but it has some poison there because white would like to build actually we he would like to separate our army and he would like to attack in the king side, side somehow he would like to develop uh, his pieces like this he's threatening to capture the pawn somehow then he can develop the bishop there the knight there maybe the queen out he would like to create some attack so you should be aware about this the best move is uh, knight c6 obviously because you need to develop your pieces i added this one this is a little more popular but in any case um so we have this move so white is sacrificing the pawn there he is happy if you just push the pawn forward because if you just push the pawn forward he has access to other squares you are giving something there and you're giving activity you are giving squares it's not so so easy to play and after this uh, for example it's very interesting to play bishop on b5 because maybe he would like to double the pawns uh, maybe putting a little more pressure yeah it's interesting move another one is this one little passive and now you can see we have some uh, uh, some space c4 it's interesting but um, for me it's not so easy to play these moves without good calculations and now after this we can play that one computer said that we are completely winning but okay another idea is this one more prophylactic move try to protect everything in that square 
to keep safe our bishop so the knights cannot jump forward there and after this we have this one try to block the center this is very nice move actually and now we have that one we have some squares the game continue normally and now a6 it's a normal move normal prophylactic move because this bishop is uh, it doesn't have good squares actually where to go during the game players played uh, that move g5 it is a game between uh, feed the masters or something like this in hungary uh, 1997 and the game ended in a draw i'm going to show you a separate file i'm going to give you a separate file one will be for the theory i'm cutting the theory here and i have the games in the different files so if you would like to go deeper or if you found some very interesting um, um very interesting line there or system you can go there so this is one line it was a draw actually black didn't manage to win that game uh, so here i suggest you actually play knight c6 because you are developing the pieces it's a very normal move and after this for example bishop to c5 and now knight there and after a3 a5 is a very very interesting move another one is bishop to f5 try to exchange some pieces because we have more pawns it's okay to exchange pieces and after this for example a6 castle and queen d7 here we have some exchanges knight there and we have a fantastic square here on e3 we are protecting that pawn this is a buried bishop for uh, for now but we have other activities for example this knight is a monster very very nice and what this bishop is doing as well so black is uh, better here we didn't want the game yet a lot of things need to be done actually but uh, we have a lot of possibilities to win that game um, and we have a game here played in 1992 in Seville black won that game and uh, with the black pieces we have Marine uh, with the white pieces is uh, an unknown player Soto Perez I don't know but uh, with black pieces we have a grandmaster uh, Marine who, who managed to win that game so we have bishop f5 is interesting or you can play a5 another prophylactic move play against this move b5 and now after this knight here and we have another game uh, there black is um, better again we have this lovely square our bishop is still here not extremely active but it's there and the game is uh, Augustin 2100 approximately and with a black player we have Yusupov Arthur Yusupov another very strong player Linares 1997 and black managed to to win that game I think it's all about this uh, first lesson and as you can see this uh, completely stupid sideline this sideline um where is it he, he played d4 and after that he played the move f4 it's how often are you going to see this one right but now you know exactly what to do with the black pieces thank you very much and i hope you to see you soon if you would like to get attacking positions in every opening then i suggest you this amazing course 10 aggressive openings blitz friendly and here i'd like to show you the lessons inside the website if you are logged in then you are going to see this new menu profile if you click it you are going to see this page and then you can click here my lessons from this one you can see your available lessons and if you scroll down you can click here 10 aggressive openings with asaf Givon, with this fantastic author we create together the lessons and you can see here one lesson after the other you can see typical mistakes after that how to start the game correctly the best 10 moves then you can see what are the aggressive openings and then you're going to learn one lesson after the other we have a lot of lessons there and you can create a very solid and strong repertoire with white and black and here you can see two of the three lessons that i already published them on youtube and last but not least here you can you can download the pgn theory on your website you can download the practice the pgn files you can see all of the games online on my website or if you click here on practice pdf then you can see the exercises in the pdf format and you will be available to download this as well you can set up these positions you have a lot of interesting examples in each position from every every single opening i suggest you this fantastic course in order to start correctly in every every single opening 
Thanks for your time and I hope you enjoyed the video. Here it's time for action. This is the initial page of my website and here you can click give me access to get access to free lessons. You can read this page and if you scroll down here you can add your name and your email. After that you're going to take a free lesson how to avoid chess blunders. So time for action is now and you're very welcome to join my mail list.